From incredible models to molecular constructs, we take a look at some of the smallest motors ever created. At number 7, the Bugatti Watch Motor. Based on the 8 liter 16 cylinder engine, this model is comprised of 578 individual pieces and turns on at the press of a button. Unfortunately, this watch does not run on 91 octane and is powered through a winding crown. One reserve is made for timekeeping and the other one is actually for the engine animation. With a price tag of $280,000, this watch still meets the price tag of a high-end car. At number 6, the wood motor. An incredible build was recently revealed by Generic Woodworking. This particular V8 required a great deal of precision, and surprisingly most of the work was done with hand tools. As with most builds, the parts were individually cut on a template and drilled, but its most impressive feature was retrofitting the pistons to the crankshaft. In the end, the model works perfectly and is probably one of the better builds on YouTube. The same creator has also built some very interesting parts, including a wooden differential, a drive shaft, and even a car clutch. So make sure to check out that link in my description. At number 5, the Paper V8. You can pretty much build motors out of anything nowadays, and Alishki has built multiple variants out of paper. His latest V8 includes the pistons, crankshaft, and even block. Templates were cut out of an A4 format, which has a relatively high density for handling pneumatic power. He has also provided multiple tutorials and instructions on how to actually build these things as well. The same creator has also built a pneumatic rifle for destroying ant colonies, so he always has projects on the go and make sure to check out his link in my description as well. This type of engine is a relatively simple concept, and it utilizes steam pressure to push a piston back and forth inside a cylinder. The pushing force can be transformed by connecting rod and flywheel into rotational force for work. Naturally, these types of engines can be scaled down to a high degree, and Keith has made an 8.5 thal variant, which has to be started with a paintbrush in order to prevent the crankshaft from breaking. Even the finest watch oil is too thick, so the piston is designed to have an air barrier. In turn, the contraption runs on air or even CO2, but surprisingly Keith has claimed to have made a 6 thou variant, which is considerably smaller than the one shown here. Now, just like any other homemade engine, there are many older models which have been built over the years which are easily overlooked. This includes Gunter's 6 cylinder radio with an overall diameter of 39 millimeters, but his most impressive variant is arguably the flea which is roughly around 10 millimeters wide. The entire engine is made out of 36 parts, with the pistons built out of carbon graphite, along with the cylinder walls made from stainless steel. But unfortunately, this design is so small, the flame actually heats up the entire engine. So it has to run without lubricants or oils. Evidently, this is a pretty universal problem when designing smaller engines. But Gunter has stated that it could very well be possible to manufacture smaller Sterlings but it have to be done with machinery and stronger metals. Another honorable mention, which I have talked about many times before, is Patalo's engine. He has built a 32-cylinder model, which consists of 850 pieces, and ultimately this took over 2,500 hours. The end result is a well-balanced pneumatic motor, which could run for hours. But he has not stopped there, and he's built several radials along with a replica Joan model. In order to get any smaller than these engines which I have covered, you have to change the concept of what a motor really is. And in order to do this, you have to oversimplify the design along with making something that is really redundant. The nano motor is an excellent example of this. Measuring in at under 1 micrometer, or 500 times smaller than a grain of salt, it is considered by many to be the smallest motor in the world. These particular motors utilize three basic components, consisting of a nanowire, magnet, and electroid. This simple design allows the motor to last for around 15 hours at a speed of around 18,000 RPMs. Powered through an electromagnetic field, these motors can actually be triggered through the use of lasers. Ultimately, this technology could create machines which can tackle drug delivery or even perform microfluidic automation. So the basic framework is already there for nanorobotics, but either way, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens within the next decade. At number 1, the Blecker motor. The smallest motor in the world is built out of 16 atoms, which is less than 1 nanometer. 
A scanning microscope can direct electrical energy and cause directional rotations. But some weird quantum effects can also happen, such as quantum tunneling in this particular machine. Quantum tunneling is a weird phenomenon where a particle can appear on the opposite side of a barrier that should be impossible for the particle to penetrate. So it's kind of like you walking through a wall and appearing on the other side. This means that rotation should be theoretically random, but in reality the rotor turns the same way almost 100% of the time which means that it's losing some amount of energy. And the only explanation is that quantum tunneling is causing a loss of energy, which is forcing the motor to turn one way all the time. Ironically, this phenomenon is a big limitation in computing, and we can only make a transistor so small before it actually does this quantum tunneling. But ironically, this could also allow us to develop a very small motor which can be controlled. But I would like to know what you think about all this. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.